Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. This is How to Get Away with Murder, Season 1, Episode 5. You know, there's always so much to tell, so let's just jump right in here. Okay, so... The whole thing blew up where Wes came to the house saying that the... the uh, the wallpaper and all that stuff and he's not trusted Annalise he's threatening to go to the police and all of this um, unless she could actually get Rebecca back so she told him don't you leave this house whatever whatever he ran on out she went actually to him to see him and is asking him well what do you want you know what do you want and you're really wrong and I'm not working with my husband you know all that stuff she was getting all that smoothed over with him he's like I want you to get Rebecca back period boom that's it. I want you to get Rebecca back. Um, she basically, what she did, she put um, Frank on finding Rebecca. Okay? Put him on that. In the interim, she has this whole thing going on. There's this case that went on, and this guy's been in jail basically for 20, 21 years for a murder that he swears he did not commit, that he did not murder his girlfriend. His name is David Allen. He's on death row, and it's an appeal. Um, so they finally got the appeal, and this is her chance to actually get him off, but if not, then, you know, he's going to suffer with a lethal injection and all of that. So they end up, you know, they start dredging through. She has her... Her students, and it's five of them instead of Wes, you know, there's five, and then Wes ends up coming back into it. Long story short, and I'm not really going to drag this out because this case was, it wasn't really, um like, bad. Like, it was not a whole, whole lot of details where you had to really fight real hard. Just a couple little twists and turns. They had his alibi. They, they ran to get his alibi. You know, his alibi was this guy named Jason Watkins, was a druggie, um... They find out, because they just knew that was going to really, really help. He actually had OD 15 months ago. So that was just not happening. That just did not happen. Um, we basically continue on. They're trying to dig up all these things, trying to get these facts. They're going back and talk to the eyewitness and all of that. Asher actually went out with Bonnie, which was strange. But they went out um, together. And they just didn't get anything. They see the eyewitness, just really didn't get anything. Bonnie has been approached in the interim by Professor Keating. You know, he's telling her, you know, oh, thank you, you know, for having my back, blah, blah, blah. Bonnie gives him very much of, oh, no, you know, it's about Annalise. I would do anything for Annalise. Bitch, get out of here. She ain't in love with Annalise. She loves Professor Keating, and he knows it. He knows that she's full of shit. And then Barney had the nerve to take her ass and run up on Laurel and let Laurel know you're not the right person for Frank and you need to leave him alone. You need to leave him alone. And if you don't, you know, she's just going to fuck everything up with her and Annalise and make sure she gets rid of her. Really? Really, Barney, you slick bitch? Well, you're sitting around there Really wanting Annalise's husband? Where'd they do that at? Just a mess. But he went to say, you know, that husband, she's giving him no leeway. He went to say something to her about her trusting him and all that. She said, yeah, I trusted you and all that before I knew you were sleeping with a white whore. I said, oh, Annalise, watch it. Watch it. Anyway, as we're going through all of that, you know, we always have that background story is steadily playing out. Um... We have this whole thing going. Asher's dad actually ended up being tied up with this. Asher's dad has something to do with the original trial. And he always kept records. And except for the one day, like literally in 30 years, he had one day where all the entries went there. And where it was, he literally had, um, his father was burying evidence. So there's no... You know, he didn't keep that in his journal. Naturally, he's not going to write that out. Asher actually confronted his dad, and his dad threw him out of the house and called him disrespectful and all of this business. So that was a whole big mess. 
Asher went to Annalise and he literally asked him, does this Keating woman have you doing all this, this, that thing, and the other? After all I've done for you and blah, 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 blah. Shady. It, it was shady. This whole thing was shady. It was about getting um, people that were under income out of a complex of living and all of that. That's how the girl ended up being killed. It was not her boyfriend. They framed the boyfriend. Um, you know, and all of these things were actually found out. It was literally about money. It's a state senator. This guy is a state, Art Truco. He's a, a state senator. And he basically had this woman who was the eyewitness. He had her perjure herself. And Cork, she was already, she was messing around and couldn't pay the rent and was about to be thrown out and all of this here. Next thing you know, all her back rent was all disappeared and all this kind of care. He paid her to perjure herself. They framed David Allen because his girlfriend actually was kicking up a lot of issues. She was one of the more, uh, the tenants of that building. After that, all of the new, whatever they were doing with the building just went right on through. Nobody else was fighting and all of that after they had her killed because he literally had her killed. Annalise, when they went court, they she went hard. She went hard. They were telling her she had to shut up and stop. She literally almost got found in contempt of court and the judge was going to throw her in jail just getting her argument out. But once she actually did get everything out and the senator, naturally, they subpoenaed the senator. And she went hard with him. He was given, this is just ridiculous. This, that thing, and the other. She broke that shit down. She was talking fast and getting it done, baby. And I was sitting there screaming. Sitting there screaming. I was actually at my mom's tonight, guys, whenever I watched the program. So my mom and my aunt's over there. And my youngest son is standing over there. They're playing on the computer. And I'm just screaming a holler. And they're looking at me like, just... Damn crazy. But I don't care. I told y'all, I get in. When I watch his model programs, I goes in, I scream and I holler. I do all of that. I'm very animated. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, she owned the courtroom. She did the damn thing. They basically did break out into, they're like, mm -mm, they're investigating the senator. David Allen got let off. Annalise, that was all that was really cool. You know, all that was cool. So that all worked out. Frank found Rebecca and turned the cell phone over to the authorities. So Wes is like, well, wait a minute. Well, what about your husband? She said, what about him? See, you're thinking that you're knowing what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing. You said whatever it takes, right? That's how I do my business, whatever it takes. I love, 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 love Annalise Keating. You hear me? You know, and that Wes, he just, uh, you know, who do you think you are, Wes? Go sit your ass down. She knows what she's doing, but she got that all together. And it was all done, and she blew it on up. Because for a minute there, she was getting worried, because she felt like she was just losing control of everything. She had Wes on her back. She had to shit with this trial. It wasn't going right. And she figured it all out. She got it together. Got it together. And that was the thing. With Asher's dad, you know, he was burying evidence and all that. And... Asher was like, you know, I'll give you the information, but you got to keep my dad out of it, you know, and she did that. She did that. She wanted everything, got everything she wanted and didn't have to expose his dad. So it was really, really a good episode. I really, really enjoyed it. And that's basically it, guys. And, you know, we're, we're coming closer. We're getting closer to getting to this Rebecca thing. I'm thinking this is going to come full circle in the next two weeks or so. So. Just hang on with me, guys. We're still riding this bus, and I'm loving this journey. So you can thumbs up the video or thumbs down. You guys know how that works. But I will definitely be back here with you again next Thursday to see where we're going. I goddamn love this program. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.